Hello everyone. Welcome to networking-forums.com videos. I'm Dean Webb and I'd like to show you a new feature we've got here. Uh, there are study questions for the CCENT exam, which is also the first half of the CCNA exam pair. Uh, the official number right now is 100-105, so if that's the test you're looking to take, this is for you. If you go to the forum and you go to Education, Guides and Labs, you'll see a sticky here for study questions for this particular exam. So if we click on that link, we'll see that we've got eight pages of questions here to help with the 100-105 CCNA exam. Um, the official CERT guide has a lot of great information in it. Don't skimp. Get the CERT guide. It's amazing. The author is a genius. I've loved his work there. You want to keep reading that. But Cisco has a policy with their certification exams that everything in the official CERT guide is testable, but not everything on the test is from the official cert guide. You do have some independent study that you need to do. This is not bad. It's not emphasized as much as it should be, I think, but it is itself not a bad thing if you know you need to do it ahead of time. And I'm telling you, if you're taking a Cisco exam, plan on some outside study time. Don't just rely on the cert guide. Go out, read Wikipedia articles about your particular topic read uh, requests for comment or RFCs that are pertinent to your topic, read Cisco white papers uh -huh, that are pertinent to your topic. Those things are very important on a Cisco exam. So what I did is uh, my son and some other friends uh, took the CCENT exam and complained that the CERT guide didn't cover everything. I, I knew that was going to happen. They even took all the test bank questions that came with the CERT guide and were getting 99, 95% every time they took it. They knew this material, but the actual exam pulled in enough other material that they were left unprepared for it. So I went back and I said, okay, I want to be able to make sure that if you read over these study questions and you go and find that information, not in your CERT guide, but in the Wikipedia articles and RFCs in Cisco white papers, you go and find that information, you're going to be ready for this exam. The eight pages I have are for cabling and the OSI model and some theory, layer two topics, IP version four, IP version six, uh, OSPF, which is a routing protocol, and yes, that's covered there. Other routing, which would include uh, EIGRP, specific iOS commands that would be good to know from a very basic level here. And these are covered on the uh, CCENT. And some scenarios I was able to come up with that would help uh, put you in the frame of mind that you need to be in for the simulations and other uh, lengthier sections that they have on that test. Now the idea being that you go in, you read these over, and you do your work. Even if somebody else has already answered them, you can go do the work you can get it to where you learn this and even if you look at some of what other people have written and you think you know the answer there don't do that go actually and seek out the primary source documents that cover this read them over and go ah oh, okay I get it now I see why that guy may have answered that and I may have put it slightly differently but I would agree with him because I read in this article or this white paper the information that's needed to answer that question and when you have that kind of knowledge you're going to show up and not just pass the test, but when you arrive for your first interview for a networking job, you'll be conversant in those technologies. When you're handed your first switch or router to configure, you're not going to be desperate and scrambling and Google searching to figure out what to do. You'll have some background knowledge. You'll be able to make some informed choices. This is not just so you pass the exam. This is so you'll pass the exam and be ready for that first job. And that's how I wrote the questions. I've got uh, 16 years of teaching experience, and I've got 11 years in the IT field, and I'm, being, I'm able to put the two together to help provide a, a training path for you to follow. So I hope you come by. I hope you enjoy uh, the materials I've provided, and I hope you ask questions yourself at networking-forums.com, where there's a lot of really smart people ready to give you a lot of really great advice. 
Until the next video, this is Dean Webb for NetworkingForums.com. Bye for now.